What's up guys? So last time we did a video on camera accessories you must buy under 30 bucks and you guys loved it. We have over 130,000 views so thumbs up to that. We decided to put another video for you guys not necessarily under 30 bucks but a lot of these items are under 50 bucks. So I'll go, go ahead and let Carlos kick things off with some of his favorite products that we like to use on a day-to-day -day basis. All right, now this is one of my favorite tools that I like to use and we call in the, gave it a nickname called MacGyver. So this is a very versatile tool. You can pretty much mount this on a desk, on the C-stand, on a tripod, or even on your light stand. And pretty much I used this on my shoulder rig where I was mounting it and I had the Zoom H5 on here so I could monitor the audio levels. And you could also get some nice crazy overhead shots with this little thing. With the way we mounted it is we have this on a C stand and we mounted the camera because this has a quarter inch thread. So you could, like he said, you could basically use uh, H5, H4, a camera, and you can mount this basically anywhere. I think it's rated about seven pounds. Now the name is not MacGyver, that's what we <laughs> called it. It's actually called Pedco and links to all of the products that we talk about here will be down below in the description. Now one of my favorite products is this small rig. This is actually an adapter that has 15 millimeter rod support. <laughs> So, well, it's called a base plate, really. And the reason why we like to use this is because we are doing a lot of run and gun shooting. So for us, keeping everything light, keeping everything portable is very important to us. So what we like to use is this battery pack that basically gives us batteries for like days. Uh, sometimes even like a whole entire week without oh, yeah. having to recharge. So where do we use this? We use this on the camera. On the camera, we have a small HD, mm -hmm. the Zoom H5 and what we also have that USB power, so we have yes. a D-tap. So the way we use a small rig is we have a 15 millimeter rod support that we mount this towards the back. And this gives us the versatility of powering so many different items with just one basically battery pack. And we can last out, like I said, days, literally, not hours. Uh, another way you can use this is sometimes we use cine lenses. Oh yeah. So you need a follow focus. So just mount the rods the other way, use a follow focus and also a matte box very useful tool it's about 30 bucks and easy to adapt all you need to do is use this quick release plate so you can mount this on your tripod you can mount this on a slider a monopod i mean you can pretty much mount this anywhere and you don't have to take it away from your camera so that's very cool all right now this next tool pretty much goes with a tool we mentioned in the last video yep. and those are carl zeiss wipes a lot of you guys have been tweeting pictures at us and keep sending them in we'll keep retweeting them because they're awesome little wipes and Here's the problem with those wipes though. Sometimes it doesn't get all of the dust off the lens and you have to blow it. So this is a little rocket blaster. You just blow air into your lens and it's gonna clean it. So it's always gonna be clean. Yeah, this is very useful to have. And also if you take your lenses off, sometimes you know your camera has a little bit of dust inside the sensor. Now be careful whenever you clean the sensor because every camera is a little different, especially on, on Sony cameras, they have oh, yeah. IBIS. So you should probably result to your instruction manual or somebody who knows how to do it. But for a cleaning lenses, definitely. Yeah, you gotta carry one of these in your backpack all the time. Yeah, speaking of carrying things in your backpack, these hex tools are very handy uh, because a lot of times, like for example, our tripods, our monopods, the 501 monitor, they have these Allen wrench keys that they need adjusting. So this, I actually got a really good deal on them. 12 bucks. Oh man, he got real lucky with that. <laughs> yeah, I got these for 12 bucks. Although they're not expensive today, they're about 24 bucks. You do get two, it's a two pack. Very useful to have, they're yellow, so you know, whenever we need to find them, they're very easy to find because of the color. Again, I can't stress enough how much these are important, especially carrying your backpack. A lot of times these parts come loose, definitely a must have. All right, now this next item pretty much worries me because I see a lot of people on Twitter doing those overhead shots and they don't have any weights to them. So your tripod could always fall down. And you know what? You guys need a sandbag. So with a sandbag, pretty much you're gonna have your tripod steady and stable at all times. So it's never gonna tip over. You can put this on some light stands as well, just to have that safety added to it. And the C-stand too. I mean, we have the C-stand right now. It, it has a microphone. Uh, that's the C stand is holding. We have a 20 pound C stand. Carlo likes to lift weights, that's why he's getting getting those gains. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so this this thing's very useful because they come in different sizes, or you can buy them in different sizes. And the way I look at it is like this: I'd rather spend 10, 15, 20 bucks, depending on which sandbag you get, than having to repair a camera that gets broken or even catch fire if something <laughs> you know happens. So definitely, uh, we have a ton of these in different sizes. So pick one of these up. And you guys always ask us, how do we get these perfect colors on camera? You look great, man. 
Colors are perfect. Uh, of course, of course. <laughs> Why? Because we have this. This is a nice little secret tool that we like to use. So this is always gonna make sure that you get perfect colors, even when, well, when, pretty much in pulse processing work. Yeah, you can reference uh, the colors. Adobe has this really cool tool. It's just a little, sort of like a little color dropper or a little dry yeah, I don't know what they call it uh, this is white obviously yeah. and then all you do is you use a little dropper tool and it checks to make sure your white balance is on check yeah so the blue blue <laughs> yeah. so yeah this is this is a good reference point basically so we, we usually use this on a roll yeah we have it like just how you see it right now and make sure whenever you use it there's no light reflecting or bouncing off of it because that's really important otherwise it's gonna throw things off Final Cut Pro has a really cool tool that actually uses color checker to make sure that all of the colors are, are on point. That's something I do wish Premiere had, but Final Cut Pro- He's does. lying, it's a plugin, you have to buy it. <laughs> Calm down. So anyhow, those are really great tools. There's one more though that I did a video on. Whoa, I did a video on, on and that's the Viltrox Lights. Now, I'm not really gonna talk about it right now, but this is a must have. And again, I'll leave a link down below to that video. I felt that this was an honorable mention just because we use this almost every single shoot. Very handy, very portable. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will continue making these yeah. videos as long as we get the views, the likes, and of course, most importantly, if you guys reshare these types of videos, it helps grow the channel. Yeah, so make sure you guys comment down below if you guys wanna see more and more camera accessories that we like to use and pretty much really inexpensive accessories follow this guy on his youtube channel he puts out some great content because i shoot it and it looks <laughs> awesome <I'm> just, <laughs> so yeah follow him follow him on snapchat i'm gonna leave links to his channel down below and guys if you guys have any questions again comment section tweet us out let us know thanks again for watching and you will catch us in the next one adios